out my fins, which there are two, and my air scoop, which there are one. The air scoop is the trickiest, so let's save that for last. And let's lay out the two fins over here on the bottom uh, left edge of the paper. <clears throat> Ethan, how, how wide are the fins total if each is three? Six. Six. All right, so down here at the bottom edge, I'm going to measure over from the left edge six inches and make a mark. And I'm going to do that up here a little ways, um, something less than three inches from the bottom edge. Make another mark of six. And then I'm going to draw a vertical line connecting those two dots. Kind of light. Um, then I have, what's the height there, Ethan? It's three, right? Three, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to measure up three inches from the bottom left corner. And then do the same thing over here on this line. Actually, the air scoop is three inches high. So we can go all the way over to the edge of the paper, the right edge. Since we're going to lay that out later, we'll need a line over there three inches high. We're only using three inches, the bottom three inches of this paper. Draw all the way across there. Okay. So I've divided my space into an area for the fin and the air scoop. Now let's finish up the fin. So these tabs are a half inch. You can see those dimensions are a half inch. So I got to split this in half now. We said that that was three. Each fin is three inches wide, so I'll place a mark at three there. And so that I get a vertical line, I'll place another mark at three inches directly above it. And then I'm just going to use a light construction line to connect those two. All right, I'm going to measure over from the left corner one half of an inch. Put a mark. Do the same thing over here. I can go from two back to one and a half. That'll give me a half inch, right? Yep. And then I'm down here at the bottom, I'll measure up a half of an inch and place a mark there. So I got three marks, those three spots, and I'm going to make my lines just by connecting those two marks on the right. And then do the same thing on the left. Okay. Now, the next thing I need to do is create the air scoop. And so I need to create that over here. And I'm going to skip. I found out that if I make a mark over here from this line one inch over, make another parallel line to the right edge of that fin one inch, that gives me a good starting point. And I'm going to get the overall size of my air scoop kind of blocked in here. The overall size is 3 plus the 3 eighths plus the 3 eighths here. So if we add 3 and then 3 eighths plus another 3 eighths, we will get a total of 3 and 3 fourths. Okay? 3 and 3 fourths. So I'm going to make a mark over here, 3 and 3 fourths over, and I'm going to do the same thing at the top. And then I'm going to draw a straight vertical line between those two points. Okay, now this distance is 3 eighths and this is 3 eighths. So I'm going to measure over from that edge, 3 eighths, and just put a mark. Now these rulers have 30 seconds on the 0 to 1 inch scale. So I'm going to use the marks between 1 and 2 inch. It's a little easier to read. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing over here. Right, and I'm going to do the same thing at the top. Let me see why in just a second. Three eighths. One, two, three eighths. Three eighths is the same as six sixteenths, right? And three eighths this way. Now, those are my hidden lines, so I'm going to go ahead and draw those in as hidden lines. <coughs> Sorry, dashed lines. Same thing as a hidden line when we talk about dimension and drawing later. And I'm going to draw another vertical dashed line over here. Because these are my fold lines of my air scoop. Okay? And then I need to measure over from the, from the line out one-eighth of an inch. Two-sixteenths or one-eighth. Put a mark. Do the same thing over here from the fold line. One-eighth here. And then all I need to do is connect that mark with the line I created for the right side of my rectangle. Here and here. This part is the most critical part that you get it correct. 
because the air scoop is what enables it to be propelled down the hallway and it must be laid out properly in order for it to work right. So this is what yours should look like. I'm going to erase these so it looks more like what the plan does. And any extra lines that we don't need, you can erase as well. So there's what your fins and your air scoop should look like. And then you'll cut out around the...